Well, Eric, the 1920s were an age of dramatic social and political change. For the first time, more Americans lived in cities than on farms. I didn't know that. The nation's total wealth more than doubled between 1920 and 1929, and this economic growth swept many Americans into unfamiliar consumer society. It was also the first decade to have a nickname, Roaring Twenties yes. or the Jazz Age. But we're celebrating the 1920s today because it marks the beginning of one Rapid City icon. News Center 1's Stephanie Kayser joins us with more this morning. Good morning again. Good morning, Eric and Elizabeth. Well, I'm at the Alex Johnson Hotel where we are celebrating its 85th anniversary in Roaring Twenties style. Now, this hotel has a very unique past. Many celebrities have stayed here, and also many people have reported seeing ghosts during their stay. Here is a look at what makes this hotel an iconic landmark of Rapid City. 11-story Alex Johnson Hotel, the tallest building in downtown Rapid City, is celebrating its 85th anniversary this weekend. Construction on the iconic hotel started just one day before Mount Rushmore in 1927. Most of the hotel still features its original work. Well, just the architecture along with the, the Native American you know, influence that we have in the lobby and, and in the you know, uh, German heritage on the outside, and, you know, just brings some great cultures that are, are very um, familiar with the Black Hills. And and like Mount Rushmore, many famous faces have stayed at the Alex Johnson. Six different presidents stay here, and just you know, the list of you know, you know, famous people staying here is just you know, goes on and on and on. But uh, it's just so much history and, and, and uh, so many memories that are tied up in this, in this hotel. But this is not your average hotel. Many say the hotel is haunted. Two rooms on the eighth floor are known for having paranormal activity. There is some paranormal activities. You know, we've been featured on the Ghost Hunters, the TV channel, you know, show there. And you know, we we have the Lady in White, who's one of our you know um, special guests that you know, has been around for a while, and she likes to you know surprise guests once in a while and you know grace us with her presence. Guests have complained of dresser drawers being turned upside down and elevators opening before the button is pushed. You know, the Lady in White is, is predominantly the main one and, and you know, we've had people say they've seen her or they felt her presence sit on the bed or, you know, they've you know, gone into the room and, you know, their drawers are turned upside down. And, uh, you know, just little tricks, things that, uh, you know, she sometimes plays. But. One entry in the book reads, At 1 a.m., the TV set kept coming on and off for about five minutes and then just stayed on. Crazy. Some have even reported seeing Alex Johnson wandering the halls. Well, Mr. Johnson, our, our namesake, Mr. Alex Johnson, he started the hotel and he was a railroad man. And uh, he, you know, had this vision of the hotel, this great, you know, luxurious hotel, you know, here in the Midwest, in you know, Rapid City, South Dakota. And, and uh, he got local investors, built this hotel, and it's just, you know, it has been the place. Well, I'm in the ballroom of the hotel, and by tonight, it'll be completely transformed into 1920s style. And coming up, I'll show you how to make a 1920s inspired drink. Back to you. Thank you, Stephanie. A 1920s inspired drink. I'm very excited for mm -hmm. that. And still to come, there's a new way to learn about the millions of Americans who haven't, who have served in the military. Excuse me. After the break, we bring you a preview on the site launching just ahead of Veterans Day. You're watching News Center One today.